Ladies and gentlemen, this, my friends, is Owen Curry. <sighs> well, I am Andrew Shepard. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And this is our uh, our late night program, uh, 2.30 a.m. on Channel 7. The um, one you hate and don't watch. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay because uh, we don't like you either. Except for those meth heads who stay up, you know, for days on end. There's nothing else on TV. That's our fan base, and we're proud of you, Matt. Let's keep doing that. Yes. Uh, Matt, probably one of the highest industry money makers these days. Congratulations! I give you a salute. Okay? Because nobody else can make money like you can. I tried uh, selling tomatoes on a street corner the other day. Just got made fun of. I got half of them thrown at me. Didn't make a dime. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering what I'm drinking tonight, it's a uh, Mount Gay rum. Yeah. Good stuff. Very good. I got a little glass of my own. Very popular. A lot of people, I'm sure, know what I'm talking about. At least I was smart enough to pour my drink before the show. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for wasting like 15 seconds of your valued tonight show. <laughs> yeah. Nobody cares. Today... Uh, we're going to talk about cardboard boxes and how useful they are. Yep. Now, we've done some research on research on this topic. I've read at least three books about cardboard boxes and watched four PowerPoint videos on uh, porn for you. And what? Yeah, they had a special on cardboard boxes on a porn website. Oh. I read up on them. Okay. Um, you know, and I, I, you know, while he was doing that research, I watched dozens and dozens of hours of, uh, you know, of movies and clips and different things like that on, uh, you know, just building up my knowledge on cardboard boxes. Yeah. So we have a lot of knowledge coming toward you. I would grab a, hell, a pen and a piece of paper. You're going to want these notes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I, I learned, you know, out of all those videos and all those movies, the most important thing that I found that a cardboard box could be used for Camouflage. Camouflage. Wow. You know what? I read that too. In Iraq, you see on a street corner, you know there's you know there's people around, all those terrorists, you know? They wouldn't expect you to be in a cardboard box. No, no, not at all. After all those days spent without sleep reading long books about cardboard boxes and porn sites, I figured out the cardboard boxes, most of them are brown. Really? About 90% of the cardboard boxes in America are brown. <laughs> I wouldn't even think so. They are. Wow. Yeah. Huh. I can't believe that. I, I didn't believe it either. I know. All the ones I've found so far are yellow. I know. Ridiculous. Well, supposedly, like, in Indonesia, they create thousands of brown boxes an hour. Oh yeah, and, and I'll tell you what, um, uh, you know, and during this uh, process, I ended up uh, just to uh, prove to the public on how safe uh, cardboard boxes are. Um, I uh, ended up, uh, I, I ended up getting a small child I adopted. Uh, you know about. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up adopting a small child uh, <laughs> about two to. Three <laughs> oh, oh my god. Continue. Okay, one second. <laughs> uh, okay. Woo! My face is gonna be all red when we cut. So is mine. You, <laughs> you adopted a small child. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, I ended up adopting a small child. <laughs> okay, I think I got I ended up adopting a small child. I put him in a cardboard box, sent him off to Africa. <laughs> yeah. Didn't live. Oh, but it wasn't 
The box that killed it, it was starvation. That's too bad. You know, cardboard boxes didn't kill the child. Just the lack of food inside the cardboard box, right? Yeah. There was no food um, in this box. I, I, you know, and I thought ahead. I was like, well, maybe you might need something. I threw a fourth of a Pop-Tart in there. I, uh, you know, <laughs> cardboard boxes <laughs> are often used to ship infants all around the world. The other day, I decided that instead of shipping it out without supervision, I would try and row it across the ocean in a box. I was rowing. Wouldn't you know, the water got inside the box. We ended up sinking. Uh, child couldn't swim, died. I made it back to shore just fine. 14 hour trip, a fourth of a pop tart. Sound enough? Oh, I would think so. That's about right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you know, to make it a little bit better for it, you know, I, I ended up uh, wrapping it completely in tape, you know, so that, you know, so no air would get into it. <laughs> you know, you don't want any get any air, you know, any of those air, that air, poor air, yeah. getting into your child. He still um, died of starvation before he suffocated, though, so I'm it's sure. Okay. I'm sure. Now, due to the recent activity of people shipping infants across the oceans in airplanes and boxes, and having all of these supplies suffocate, they decided to put holes in the boxes. But useless. It didn't help. Didn't help one bit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We have a uh, a special. Uh, I'm sorry, going out to those folks because yeah. we know they didn't get their. You package. know, and in the, the same thing, you know, and I ended up, uh, you know, I adopted a second child thereafter. Um, I put it in a cardboard box. Um, Fell down a flight of stairs. You know, I heard a little bit of noise. Uh, you know, this was pre, you know, pre picking up from UPS. Uh, I heard a little bit of noise. Didn't think, you know, I mean, a cardboard box can harm a kid. You know. No, no, <laughs> not at all. You know, so I put it out there, and the UPS guy came up to my door and said he couldn't take it. Yeah, I don't. What? Yeah. What? No. You know, and he was like, I believe there's a kid in here. And in order to prove that it was perfectly safe, I threw it off the roof of my house. I'm sure the kid's fine. So we ended up, uh, you know, the UPS guy ended up taking it. It was a different UPS guy, uh, but he ended up taking it. Um, and, uh, you know, it was it was quite a bit for shipping. Uh, uh, shipping uh, a infant across, you know, overseas is very expensive. And um, what you need to know is it is illegal unless you have a license. Okay, you have to get licensed, specially, to ship a kid across the ocean in a box. Where do you get those licenses? You can uh, get any license that you'd like for shipping kids at an orphanage, or... Um, I got mine at CarQuest. Or you can get one off the internet for free, it's, uh, it's not illegal. I believe they sell them at CarQuest, Advanced Auto... And even in, uh, at the uh, the, uh, the help section there, uh, what is it, customer service at Walmart, I believe, uh, sells special tags for shipping infants in cardboard boxes across the oceans. Yep. And uh, they have a special offer these days. If you adopt a kid to ship across an ocean, you get a free burger at McDonald's. Yeah. Well, anyway, tonight, um, I, I do believe that uh, that might be all we have time for. Um, I am Owen Curry. I am Andrew Shepard. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.